Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. My name is Rich. I'm here with Lily and we're going to demonstrate a lot of the obedience commands that she's learned here at school, the little techniques that we use, and the training equipment. Now, I'm using a standard six foot web training leash. I keep the bulk of that leash typically folded neatly in our right hand, which leaves our left hand to make little corrections. And the corrections we give here are a little tiny tug and release on the training collar. You'll have a couple options to, to look over. Of course, we'll give you our recommendation. And then we're also using a little clicker, which basically lets Lily know when she's doing a good job or she follows a command. Typically, we follow that click up with either a reward, which is a little tiny treat, or just praise. Um, with your obedience training at home, start off at 10 or 15 minutes at a time because she's young, she's going to get distracted. Um, and we're working indoors today because it's pushing 80 degrees, dogs aren't used to that drastic temp temperature change, and it's a good thing to work her inside at home too because there's limited distractions. If you're out on the street with a young puppy, new training, limited, less distractions the better. So the first thing we're going to demonstrate is her ability to walk nicely on a leash. So the command is Lily heel. Now what she's basically waiting for is for me to move. So Lily heel. Good girl. And if you occasionally just look at my left hand. Hey, no. Very nice. If you look at my left hand, sometimes you'll see just little, gra little subtle corrections, which is basically trying to keep her right by my side. Shoulder blades even with your left leg. If she makes a little mistake, you may hear me say no with a little correction. But yeah, your left hand is basically a steering wheel. Ready? Lily, go. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Ready? Very good. Now, because she can be so calm in one second and then super excited in the next, I mean, keep your praise to a minimum. I mean, if you really want to give her belly rubs and love her up, Wait till training is over. No, hey, no, sit. Good girl. Lily Hill. And what we do with all of our dogs and Lily too, ready? Lily Hill. Good girl. Is we'll change directions. Sit. Good. And what changing directions does is keeps your dog more focused on you. So if they're getting distracted, want to eat acorns, leaves, speed up, slow down. Do what we call an about turn, which is basically just turning 180 degrees in the opposite direction. Um, so they're looking up at, at their handler, just like she is now. And that's what you're looking for, which is great. Ready? Lily, you. Oh, no, no, not yet. We're not doing the down. Ready? Good. So nice automatic sits. At home, whenever you stop, we expect her to sit, wait for another command. The next command we're going to give her is the sit-stay. Stationary command, so always have her seat at first. Left open palm, push it towards her muzzle, and the one word firm command to stay. Stay. And my mom will always say, with your stationary commands, there's no question mark at the end of it. So when you give her a stay command, it's firm. You don't have to yell, but hey, no. She's going to get a bath, so hopefully we'll get rid of some of this uh, allergy itching. Hey, no. Now, I have seen dogs smart enough to itch because, like, I don't feel like doing obedience, so I'm going to scratch. So now she's been seated for 30 seconds or so. I'm going to call her out of that. The job is for her to come and sit facing me. The command is Lily, come. Lily, come. Good girl. Very good. So, with your come command, it should be a happy command. Um, a lot of times when dogs are called from outdoors, you get somebody that's a little cranky, they're not necessarily nice, and the, why would your dog want to come back to that? So, with Lily, make it happy. Lighten the tone of your voice and make it welcoming. Good girl. Let's try it again. Ready? No, sir. Stay. Again, firm stay, and then we're going to call her, and then she should come. And, and with your stationary commands, your sit stay, your down stay, lengthen them up at home. Lily, come on, come. good girl, sit. And if you have to, use your leash as a guide. So 
kind of wind her in if need be. Now she's been great. She's coming right back where she should. But if you need to at home, use that leash as a little bit of a guide. We're getting there. You want to go to your place? <laughs> Sit. Now we put a little mat out. A lot of times we'll use this for a place command or dogs naturally want to lay down. Now technically that is a down. Um, we'll see how this goes. Stay. So that's what we're looking for. Something a little bit more kind of military professional um, would like her. No. Hey. No. Now this is a good example of what might happen outside. I mean, if she's laying down and there's acorns and there's leaves. Hey. No. Huh. They're like, yeah. That's it. Down. Stay. Stay. Now you can see how quickly that click got her focus. But she's obviously not the only dog that you use this little mat. But a mat is a good place for a dog to lay down on, um, to expect a command. And a lot of times we use this for service dog training. Now I'm going to call her out of that. Ready? Come. Good girl. And this is the first time that we've used a treat now. So again, we'd rather use praise than a treat. If you're not fond of over treating, which we understand, then use, use some of her kibble that she absolutely loves. And it's not gonna affect her diet whatsoever. Good girl. We're gonna do that down one more time. Come on, baby. Hey, no. Hey, sit. No. And this is another good example of when your puppy gets distracted or kind of overly tired, She's got to do this. Lily, come. Sit. Good. Stay. And right before we turn, no. Down. Stay. Right before we turn the camera on, of course, she was playing. We were warming her up. So that's why a lot of times at home we recommend 10 to 15 minutes because after that, you're going to start to see this kind of losing focus. Lily, come. Good girl. Lily, no, come. And so that's that's the signs of a dog being kind of just overly tired and kind of being done. So ended on a positive note. She's been outstanding. We absolutely love her. And here's a treat if, if that's what you need. But we want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company. We will see you tomorrow. Like I said, she's gonna get her nails done, get a bath. So she'll be all nice and fresh for mommy when you pick her up. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow.